In this video, we're going to look at the 100 millisecond timer use case for the pick timers in MCC Melody. The endpoint of this video will be a LED blinking and a debug GPIO toggling at 100 milliseconds. So we start with an empty MCC Melody project for a PIC 18 or 16F device. We add a timer to the project. We can see that there's a question mark here, but also in the builder as we hover over a component, we can access the API reference, which we can see is for the PIC 16 and 18F MCU families. So this use case will work for all of these microcontrollers. Let's click on the use case code snippet instructions. Here we can see general guidelines of what we need to do. And of specific note here, the main clock is assumed to use the high frequency internal oscillator. And in these use cases, the timer is configured to run asynchronously from the main clock using the low frequency internal oscillator. So no mention is made of the microcontroller's main clock frequency when running these timer use cases. So we start with selecting our clock source and then an appropriate prescaler. So 1 to 8 gives us 66 milliseconds as a possible timeout. So 1 to 16 gets us to the 100 milliseconds that we want. As we enable the timer interrupt, we get a hint saying that interrupts are enabled, and so we must remember to enable the global interrupt. And we're going to toggle a LED, so let's go to find our schematics. So the LED on our board is on RC1. Depends, RC1, we're going to name that LED. We have something called a debug IO, and we'll show you how to use that, and that's on RC0. Okay. So that's the configuration done. Generate code. Go into our project. You can see that we have a main. Now I'm going to write the code from scratch so I can explain a little bit more as we go. So opening timer 0, I'm going to copy this line of code here. What we're going to do is create pointer called timer and set it equal to the address of timer zero. Now that enables us to access an abstract API. That will mean that it's very easy for us to change the specific hardware timer that this code runs on. So we wanted our timer callback to be 100 milliseconds. Wanted to toggle a LED. So LED, control space. But debug IO as well. We needed to enable global interrupts. So that should now be our code. Can now program. Okay, complete. Our LED is toggling as expected. Now opening the data visualizer, going to debug IO, we can click to display raw on a plot, and immediately we see our LED toggling. Zooming in, pausing, can add a couple of cursors. We have our 100 millisecond timer. 